What's up guys? Welcome back to the Woods channel. We finally got the Bronco. It's been over a year we've been waiting for this bad boy and I've been driving it for about a week now so I want to share the five things I think I'm going to fix or the five things I think I'm missing out on with this new Badlands 2021 Ford Bronco. Here we go. for any background noise you might hear in this video I am in the woods and uh, you guys know it's unpredictable when you're out here the first mistake that I believe I personally made uh, had to do with originally this was gonna be my wife's vehicle she was gonna trade in her vehicle this would be her everyday driver eight months into that process she said you know what I'm tired of waiting on it I don't know what Ford's gonna do there's a shortage of parts uh, nobody really knew if we were gonna get this thing or not I basically said I'm done waiting on the Bronco. I want to move on. She ended up purchasing a Yukon and uh, I had to make a decision. I could either uh, cancel that order or move forward and, and so I decided to move forward. I took the uh, ownership of that order and decided I would trade in my Tacoma and I would take the Bronco and the biggest concern, the first concern that came to mind was not having a truck bed. I knew that coming in that I was going to lose that truck bed but I believed when we originally ordered this, because we ordered the Badlands, I assumed it would come with a hitch. It did not come with a hitch, guys. Uh, we did not click that option. I've been told now that that's the reason our order showed up. There's some people that are holding out uh, for the hitch, and for that reason, their Bronco's not being built. I ordered this uh, pretty cool little cargo basket that was going to be my solution to not having a truck bed. I would just plug in the cargo basket. If I was hunting or fishing, carrying coolers, whatever I need to do, I could just put in that cargo basket. But the first thing I'm missing on this Bronco is a hitch. So I definitely need to get that installed soon. All right, I'm the tallest person in my family right now until probably my son passes me. But for now, I'm the tallest person at six foot. My wife is around five foot. And one of the issues we've already noticed, the grab handles are here, right? Let me zoom in for you guys. Grab, ha grab handles are on the side. They're on the side, okay? The issue we're having, when well, my little five foot wife tries to get in this Bronco, um, she hasn't figured out how to pull herself forward. She's used to Jeeps or other vehicles that have grab handles up top, which this does not have anything to leverage yourself pulling up on. So uh, it would have been nice to have some grab handles up top instead of just this one on the side or the one in the middle of the console. So the second thing we're missing out on is a top grab handle. To pull ourselves up i don't notice it as much because again i'm six foot average guy um, but unfortunately for my little wife she's having some trouble hopping in and out of this vehicle okay moving on to the back seat i have my phone here using the light to show you the next issue we've come across there are your vents they're underneath the seat and that's where you get your air if you're sitting in the back seat my uh, kids have already told me they do not enjoy this they're used to having some kind of air uh, maybe right here or a vent up in the ceiling and of course it's a convertible you're not going to have air there it would have been nice to have some kind of air vents here instead of just on their feet man when it is dark it is dark in this thing you can open up the uh, doors the cargo lights don't help much at all uh, let me move you on to the cargo area so you can see what i'm talking about <clears throat> for a guy that's going to be in and out of his truck bed which is now my cargo area instead of my truck bed this is really the main light source you have right up there on that cross member. That light shines directly down on the headrest. It doesn't really shine on your passenger seats and it doesn't shine on your cargo area. And it's, uh, it's not really a bright light. You do have two on each side, but man, they are not bright at all. Um, a lot of times if I'm hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever I'm doing, I will usually go in at dark or I will be done at dark. So I'm going to have to figure something out as far as interior lighting. You know, we see a lot of guys running ditch lights, uh, bumper light bars, things like that. But I'm going to have to look into some, some kind of strip lights, some LEDs to get better lighting in the cargo. That's the issue I'm having. So number four is good interior lighting. 
Last thing guys, and I'll be done talking about all the things I don't like about the Bronco, because I really do love this vehicle. It's, it's a sweet rig. We're excited to have it, uh, happy to have it. I realize some of you guys haven't got your order yet, and so hopefully you'll see those come in soon. There is a way to uh, make it to where the engine doesn't turn off when you stop. There's a button you could push. Um, you know, it's kind of annoying, kind of inconvenient, but at least you have a button you could push to turn that off. What you don't have is a way to push a button and turn off the horn that sounds when you're getting out to open a gate, or if you're getting out to just talk to a friend and you leave the Bronco running, this thing has one of the loudest factory horns I've ever heard. And if you leave this thing running and you shut the door, it's going to definitely let you know that it's still running. This horn is loud, trust me. Uh, so I'm definitely gonna look for ways to override that, uh, make it to where it doesn't blow the horn in my face every time I get out of it. And uh, you know, if you look at all five of these complaints, these concerns, these things I'm missing out on, they're not that big of a deal. Again, we love the Bronco. We're looking forward to uh, doing several videos moving forward. Hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever we're doing, we're gonna be in the Bronco. We're gonna have a good time. You'll see it in the videos. And uh, thank you for watching. If you hadn't already, subscribe to the channel. And uh, we'll see you guys in the woods. Guys, real quick, I did find out on the Bronco forum that you could just hit this once. And that'll lock the Bronco without it sounding the horn. I'm used to uh, most vehicles where you have to hit it twice. And there's that horn. So if you don't want to hear that, Hit it once, you see the lights and that means it's locked.